we're starting to head up to Fremont Street now from Container Park. But uh, this is the El Cortez. It's one of the older casinos that are down here. There's a couple down here that are actually older than this one, but not too many. So we'll we'll walk by those. If you like Mexican food, go check out La Mona Rosa. It's right over there. They, they got some good stuff in there. You're going to like it. This is kind of one of those hipster bars. They got a lot of kind of neat stuff in it. A lot of really interesting mixed drinks. They write everything on the, all the menu and stuff on the wall and the chalk because um, they change it a lot. And they, whatever like new stuff they get in or all the experimental stuff, this is the place to come for those. And then if you're fortunate enough, you'll find the speakeasy that's in this place because there is a speakeasy that's in the middle of this place, but most people don't know about it. Some of us do. And then, as always, go up to the rooftop, especially at night when they have that open for like drinking and stuff like that. They got a bar up there and it makes a really good view of Fremont Street when you're up there as well. The Griffin's been down here forever. We got to go in and check the inside of this place out when, it, when it's open. It's the ambiance in there, it's really cool. It was really cool. I was in there about five years ago, but it is an amazing place. You gotta check this place out when you, when you come down. All right, so this is the famous park on Fremont Street. The outside ambience here, they keep changing it. It keeps getting better and better and better. But check out the back. here from the street but you come back here and it's like the little private courtyard especially when you come back here during the winter you come back here during the winter because it's nice and warm and you can stay there for hours but it's cool. all right so here you have the world famous Hennessy's tavern it's an Irish bar. Shocker. So when you come down here for St. Patty's Day, that's the place to go. Mickey Finn's is really cool. It's really ne right next to it. It's, uh, they got some good drink specials in there usually. And of course we got the Heart Attack Grill. Now the cool part about the Heart Attack Grill is it's a good guys like Robbie down here. And they all get on that scale. They'll be able to eat, because if you're over 350 pounds, you get to eat hamburgers, single hamburgers with all the stuff as many as you want until you can't eat it anymore for free. But you got to weigh over 350 to do that. <laughs> so above us, above us right now is Swap Zone. So Slotzilla is zip lines, and these go all the way down. And there's another set that's lower that's down there a bit. But if you're ever here and you're under 250 pounds, you can get on it. I have yet, still yet to ride it. <laughs> this circle. Now that's for the street performers that come down here. They have to stay on that circle um, when they get tipped or do anything else or perform for the most part or uh, they can't take any money unless they're on that circle or they'll get kicked off of Fremont Street. So it's kind of a neat thing. They have street performers and there's a whole bunch of them. I think this goes up to 24, but they have to stay on the circle and they have to rotate around. Run. There's something going on down on Fremont Street. And you never really know what it is, but come down here, it's never boring.
All right, so check this out. This spot right here, literally right here, literally right here is where we leg press the car on the strongest man in history on the Las Vegas episode. This is right where we the car, right here on First Street. So it's pretty, pretty cool. This is stage. Now the cool thing about these stages is there's solid concrete. So if we ever did a straw man contest down here, we could do something where you kind of like do a duck walk, go up the stairs, and do a duck walk, and then do power stairs again. So it'll be like two different sets of power stairs that we could actually run there as an event if we wanted to be sick like that. So the Golden Gate's the oldest casino here. It's been down here, I think, since the early 1900s. So it's the oldest place still functioning on Fremont Street. When you go in there, you also probably got the best odds for gambling. So if you're to gamble down here, play single deck and stuff like that, that's the place to do it, the Golden Gate. And that's it. We've walked to the other side of Fremont Street and kind of saw a lot of the fun things to see while walking downtown. So if you're in Las Vegas, it's still free to come down here. So come down here, walk through this, check out the experience. And we didn't even like really show the experience all that much. You know, and it's, it's kind of like the, the sphere before the sphere. Because <laughs> if you look at the roof, it's constantly changing and constantly going. And they built that down here, God, I don't even know when. It's got a good 20, 25 years ago. They have upgraded it several times. So anyway, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, train hard, train smart, and be the best you can be. Thank you.